And his brother Damien took care of his of the, the family and took care of him. I guess raised him when his parents died. And uh, in gratitude, when he became a, a religious, he called himself Peter Damien. He became a hermit, a monk, uh, and was eventually though chosen to be abbot because of his you know, convinced of his skills, I guess, and his holiness. And he was later point, appointed as a bishop, cardinal bishop of Ostia. He became a reformer, uh, and especially the clergy that wanted to get them straightened out and started working on getting the clergy in order. And um, he said may his, he had a desire to faithfully transmit to others the example of virtue. And so we pray we can be virtuous people and be a good example to others. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. First, call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that great any sin in my thoughts, in my words, what I've done, what I've failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, our most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God, the Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may share and so follow the example and teaching of the Bishop St. Peter Damien, putting nothing before Christ, always ardent in the service of your church. May we be led to the joys of eternal light through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Reading from the letter of St. James. Beloved, who among you is wise and understanding? Let him show his works by a good light in the humility that comes from wisdom. But if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast and be false to the truth. Wisdom of this kind does not come down from above, but is earthly, unspiritual, demonic. For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is disorder in every foul practice. But the wisdom from above is first of all pure, then peaceable, gentle, compliant, full of mercy and good fruits, without inconstancy or insincerity. And the writer and the fruit of righteousness is, is sown in peace for those who cultivate peace. The word of the Lord. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The precepts of the Lord enjoy the heart. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. The precepts of the Lord enjoy the heart. Let the words of my mouth and the thought of my heart find favor before you, O Lord my rock and my redeemer. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. Jesus 
Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Alleluia. According to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus came down from the mountain with Peter, James, and John, approached the other disciples, they saw a large crowd around them and scribes arguing with them. Immediately on seeing him, the whole crowd was utterly amazed. They ran up to him, greeted him. He asked them, well, What are you arguing with them about? Someone from the crowd answered him, Teacher, I brought here my son, possessed by a mute spirit. Whatever it seizes him, it throws him down. He foams at the mouth and grinds his teeth, becomes rigid. I asked your disciples to drive it out, but they were unable to do so. He said to them in reply, O oh, faithless generation, how long will I be with you? How long will I endure you? Bring him to me. They brought the boy to him, and when he saw him, the spirit immediately threw the boy into convulsions. As he fell to the ground, he began to roll around and foam at the mouth. Then he questioned his father, How long has this been happening to him? He replied, Since childhood. It often throws him into a fire, into water, to kill him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us, help us. Jesus said, if you can, everything's impossible. Everybody is probably is possible for the one who has faith. When the boy's father cried out, I do believe, help my unbelief. Jesus, on seeing the crowd rapidly gathering, you and death spirit, he said, I come out, command you, come out of him and never enter the boy again. Shouting and throwing the boy into convulsions that came out, he became then like a corpse, which caused me to say he's dead. But Jesus took him by the hand, raised him. He stood up. He entered the house. His disciples asked him in private, and why could not we drive out the spirit? He said, This kind can come only, only come out through prayer. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> This is an amazing reading of this healing and this deliverance. And there's so much things going on, conflict in the beginning, and Jesus coming at the end and telling him to have faith, and then delivering him, and then saying, you know, well, why couldn't we do it? It comes through prayer. There's so much to this reading. There's, there's a story, the actual story, and perhaps a, maybe a description of, um, you know, the, the state of the world, you know. Um, you know, where James says, you know, there's bitterness, jealousy, selfish ambition in your hearts, you know, and, uh, you know, this stuff is unearthly, unspiritual, demonic, you know, it kind of sounds like you know, what's going on in the reading in the world, you know, um, as far as when we aren't trusting in God. You know, where does this reading start? They, we missed it on Saturday because uh, we didn't have a morning mass, but it was a transfiguration. So they were there and saw the glory of Jesus and came down and it's almost like Moses on the mountain with the golden calf that, uh, you know, they came down from the mountain and, and Moses finds people doing all kinds of crazy stuff and, and you know, has to kind of straighten them out and, um, and uh, the reality of the world, you know, you're up there on the mountaintop and then you got to come down and, uh, you know, um, life is there. It makes me think of my vacation, kind of enjoying my time coming back and think of all the stuff happening here. But, uh, but um, the whole thing about the world, the life, you know, is, um, you know, the, the world is goofed up and, you know, we wish we could fix it right away and, and we can't, but, you know, what does he say? You know, through prayer. And, and I think the whole thing of this prayer, you know, for us and for everybody, it's a, a consistent, deliberate, faithful prayer. 
We pray that that God's with us, getting us through every moment, and that He's going to deliver us through the deep, evil, difficult times we have, and He's going to, you know, be with us and help us. Like He took this young boy and picked him up by the hand and raised him up. And we pray that with faith that He's there with us, doing that too. Sometimes it's not overnight, but it just takes time for the Lord to be with us, break through, rise us up. We pray the Lord helps us in in the world, in the situation, in our own personal lives. Blessed are you, O God of all creation, for serve your goodness, and receive this bread we offer you through the earth, work of human hands, and come for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness, we receive this wine. We offer you the fruit of the vine. The work of human hands become our spiritual drink. Accept of God the mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the great grace and glory of his name, for our good and the knowledge of his holy church. <laughs> Look with favor, O pray, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings that we set at this table, the sacred altar, on the feast day of Saint Peter Damien, bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name. Through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, 
through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of Saint Peter Damien, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, keep her safe in answer to his prayers. So with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise without end we acclaim. saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup, and he he once gave you thanks, and then giving it to his disciples, he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, this bread of life, this chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray as we partake of the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring us to the fullness of charity with Francis, our Pope, Lawrence, our Bishop, Bishop Donald, and all the clergy. Remember all our brothers and sisters. Remember James Gadlock, whom you called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who is united with your Son in the death like his may also be one in his resurrection. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace and the hope of the resurrection. Remember all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen with him and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. For the kingdom of God to come on earth, we pray. Our Father, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, by the help of your mercy, 
Keep us always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostle, in peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not upon our sins, but on the faith of your church, graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will, and you can live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord Jesus be with all of you. And with your spirit. Share a sign of peace. away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am
us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of St. Peter Damien, we may strive to profess what he believed and practice what he taught. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. God's blessings upon you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Amen. Enjoy the sunshiny day. Amen.